Hello, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I am planning for the week where the leap day fell. So 2024 was a leap year and um, when was it? It was the Thursday. So I had a little sale for the leap day. I like just did like a reduction on last chance items. I think it was email only. So if you're not subscribed to my mailing list, cheeky plug for the newsletter. Um, so yeah, that was this week. And I used one of the kits from the advent calendar. This was the spring themed kit. I split the advent into like four sections. So one for each season. And this was the spring. So it came with a set of foil, which is the like floral foil pack that I'm showing now in the hollow foil colour and if you remember we had a bit of drama with the advent foil um luckily all of that is ironed out now so I'm glad to be using this kit like knowing that it all worked out because when I designed it it was very much up in the air but I thought for like the February to March like transition into spring it would be a really fun kit to use so I also paired it with the like spring foiled quotes that I've got so these are just like kiss cut quotes um in like spring phrases with like spring themes so I've got one of those for one of the boxes as well so um yeah I haven't used premium matte in such a long time so these are just like the advent kits that I kept for myself are just the extras and I think most of them are in premium matte which is like a really lovely paper for like color vibrancy and like it feels really nice and smooth but it's permanent adhesive and normally I use removable adhesive so that I have like you know, the ability to reposition things when they're wonky. Um, so this kit did stress me out just a little bit, but I mean, I feel like with paper, you either love premium matte or you love removable. I don't really know many people that kind of go for both. Although I do have customers who buy premium matte for like their weekly like vertical kits, but then they'll buy removable for the journaling kits. And I don't really know why that is. I guess, um, maybe because journaling like you might want to sort of like reposition if you're layering stuff maybe you want to like reposition things I don't know let me know if that's you because I would love to know <laughs> but um yeah so not a not a very like experienced premium matte user and I didn't do underlays because I thought it might be easier to peel the premium matte up off the paper and in hindsight I think maybe it would have been easier the other way around but it, it's too late <laughs> I can't like go back and fix it um, but I didn't have to do too much repositioning, thankfully. So um, I split my bottom washi, I've used the overlays, and I'm just going and doing my like, overlays on the glitter headers. I really love the sidebar, I think it looks so cute with like the toolbox being the like scene of the window with the flowers. And this week was also my mum's birthday, so on the on the Saturday the 2nd, it's actually my mum's birthday and Tom's grandma's birthday. So they got to share a little box to like mark their birthday, which I thought was really cute. But I did put that in the sidebar as my like overview for the week. And I am using custom scripts from my shop. We're going to do new fonts this week, which I'm very excited about. I haven't picked them yet, but I'm probably going to go and do that after I've done this voiceover. And yep, very excited. I love, love picking the fonts. So um, moving on to the plans. On Monday, <laughs> I woke up and um, I must have made a mistake when I did new releases on the on the Friday because when you like click certain listings the metadata which is how the listing shows up like you know on like your like Google Chrome tabs or something how the listing shows up there it was wrong I'd like got like a, a, the wrong kit name so Kat messaged me and told me so I fixed that and then I tidied the office because I'd been procrastinating this over the weekend <laughs> And it was very much needed like it, you know when you like put things off but you can't really get on with anything else because your like environment's not like nice like I needed everything to be like tidy and put away so I could focus and it was not a good time so <laughs> I finally did that which oh I'm so pleased about. I then collated some foil packs and I love these the Coffee Monsters Co like transparent they're not transparent they're on like the washi paper the little emotes. I, I've looked for this sheet, it's from the subscription, and I cannot find extras of it anywhere. It's like the office themed one, and I'm so sad about it. I think it's probably like a really early sheet, and like I would love to buy extras. I cannot find them anywhere. I've checked like all of the um, resellers like that have like partnerships with the Coffee Monsters Co, and I can't find them, so it's so sad. <laughs> 
but yeah, I um, I did let myself use one of those stickers. I've been sparingly using them. Um, I then marked that I restocked some scripts and I did some designing this day. I worked on, it was a spring kit. I'm not sure if it was, I've got another spring kit in the shop that's Milk and Berries Art, who was the artist that worked with us on this kit. This one's exclusive art, I don't think I said. Um, so I did that. And me and Kat worked on some mystery boards this day. So I marked that with a little pink light bulb doodle from my shop. And then I was having some issues using Shopify Flow, which is their like automated, it's on like the back end for um, shops to use. You can set like automations up. So I have a few where it like emails me when things are low in stock and like moves items into different collections based on like certain criteria. And I can't remember exactly which one was broken, but I had like an issue where it wasn't working properly. So I changed that this day. So on to Tuesday, the first thing I did was I rang my dad or maybe he called me. Whenever I mark a phone call, I always put call, even though it wasn't necessarily me that rang. So who knows? <laughs> um, and then we had a big design day. So this was the day that Jess brought out the like pregnancy baby themed arts and I bought both colours. So when she sneaked them, Kat messaged me and she was like, which one do you like? And normally me and Kat, um, so quite often we don't like, well, it's not that we don't like, we normally prefer, like, I'm wording this really badly. If, if there's like a blue and a pink colour set, she'll probably like the blue and I'll probably like the pink. Like we tend to conflict sometimes. Um, and in this instance, I would, I would normally would be a neutral person, but I really liked the rainbow one and she really liked the neutral one. And I was like, how has this happened? So I ended up doing both of them. I love them both, but like, I just, it was just really funny that it ended up like being that way. Cause often if I'm not sure, I'll message her and I'll be like, which one do you like? <laughs> and then I'll probably do the one that she likes just cause I feel like she has an eye for color. Whereas I sometimes don't. <laughs> So um, yeah, I designed both baby sets this day and oh, this was a nightmare. So Ari's insurance had expired and me and Tom realized that we both misunderstood like dog insurance for the last like four years. So we had assumed that we had some kind of policy where the price would be the same like forever. I think, and I do think they exist, but it's not the policy we got. So we had something else and um, it kept going up year on year. And we were like, what's going on? <laughs> um, finally, I like, looked into it and uh, yeah, completely our fault. It was always going to go up. So we like renewed it in the end with the same company. We were shopping around and trying to find like different policies and like comparing all the terms and conditions and all the amounts. And it was like, I just don't understand. I just want my dog to be like looked after. <laughs> So in the end we did sort it, but honestly, so confused. I don't even think it needed to be that confusing. It was just like, we we seemed to make it hard for ourselves. <laughs> um, and then I marked that I chose a new font. So we obviously had custom scripts this week as well. So uh, ser I'm not gonna, there's a word like seren serendipitous. Dip I don't know what it means. Let me, let me check. So apparently means like being in the right place at the right time, which isn't really what I thought it meant. So maybe it's not even like the right word, but there we go. We've learned something today. <laughs> um, on Wednesday, I had my nail appointment, which is weird because I do not have, maybe I do, ha no. I don't, I don't have nail appointments on Wednesdays. So no idea what happened there. Oh, I know. So um, the week after this was the week that Sophie came to film for her like uni dissertation. She asked me if she could do a little documentary on Planner Face and I was like, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so um, she came to do that next, well, in the like Plan With Me world, the week after this. So I moved my nail appointment because I didn't want to like have it when she was here and I wanted to like have nice nails when she was filming. <laughs> so I did that. Next I marked that I had to take a headshot. So this was for the announcement that I was going to have a stall at the Southwest Planner Club. We needed to provide a headshot and I like just forgot about it basically and then Holly reminded me and I was like oh I haven't done that so I, annoyingly like it was getting a bit dark and like I just felt like the light wasn't great and I just had to do my best it turned out okay I mean I don't think I'll use it again but like <laughs> it worked for the purpose I needed it I would really like to get some like proper professional photos done but I I feel like I would hate it <laughs> at the same time I just think it'd be useful for like 
whenever like sometimes someone will ask you for like a marketing photo and I'm like I don't know <laughs> so yeah it might be quite like just a good thing to have I designed some doodles this day so I marked that and oh this was actually <laughs> really weird because I couldn't find any like characters that matched the green color because obviously I'm color blocking ended up with like just one color on all my doodle sheets was perfect this kind of greeny color and it, like it's slightly darker but like I think it's the best match I'm gonna get so I was really happy with that um, I then had a message from a customer that there was a weird error on Shopify when they were checking out it's like a card verification thing and I googled it and it seems to be like a wider issue that some customers based in the US have on Shopify and I, I, to be honest like I didn't really get very far figuring it out because I did go and chat with them and they were just like largely unhelpful um, which is why I marked like why because <laughs> I just don't feel like they knew and like it didn't I don't know it was really annoying so um, luckily the customer was able to just check out with PayPal and it worked like with the same card but via PayPal so so frustrating um and then I just marked that I printed and cut some custom scripts in the evening so second half of the week I marked that it was the leap day and really struggled for like just anything to mark this with like I get that it's not a a commonly reoccurring thing and I was like there must be something on my holiday sheets because if you can tell like I have a bunch of these holiday sheets I love them but I, I don't use them, I completely forget about them. <laughs> I need to put them somewhere where they're, they're like more in my mind, like I see them more often so I remember. But yeah, nothing for leap day, so I did just do this little flag and like maybe I could have coloured it in. I don't know if there's a colour that represents the leap day. So maybe I could just colour it in peach to match the rest of the like Thursday boxes. So I marked that. And then um, I did a little email to sort of letting subscribers know because like I said it was a subscriber only disc I'm sure it was yeah I think it was just that I like discounted the last chance section further maybe probably like 29% because of it being the leap day I honestly don't remember <laughs> but yeah something like that and then um, I just marked sort of adding more things to the last chance section so like that really did happen before the email but I don't know not the way I wrote it down um, I also customised the custom fonts this day. So our process for like picking the fonts is I go through my like master list of all the fonts that I own. I look at one, I look for ones that I think are like different enough to the ones I've already got and ones that will work well. So things that don't work well for custom fonts, custom script fonts are when um, there's like too many kind of flourishes on the fonts because they go over the other letters and it just looks like too overlappy. Um, so to be honest, that's the main thing. Or like if, if they're just too tall and it's not going to be like, you know, a nice, like, I don't know, you probably know what I mean. So anyway, I pick the fonts. I tell Tom the fonts. He uploads the fonts to my Shopify because he has to convert them into like some weird format that I think just literally into images because Shopify doesn't let you upload like, no, I, I don't know. He has to do something with them. Um, he then puts them somewhere for me to view and I then customise the sizes, the, the like space between each letter, the space between the words. Like it's quite an involved process. Um, and then he takes what I've like, takes the figures and stuff I've chosen and puts it into the designer, which is how the fonts, how the sheets are, like put together and like the cut files are made and stuff. And so yeah, basically it's, <laughs> it takes a while. So we did that, that day. <laughs> You probably didn't need to know all that. And like I mentioned, it was my mum's birthday and she wanted me to make a millionaire shortbread. So I went to the shop for like the remaining ingredients. I had most things, but I just needed like some random bits. And then I printed and cut some stickers, which I marked with this huge The Coffee Monsters Co. emoji, which is so cute, but normally too big, but like it just happened to fit. And the peach color of the desk matched perfectly. So that was just like such a happy accident. And then I started the millionaire shortbread, sh short, shortbread <laughs> this evening. I just did the shortbread part and I think the caramel and I let the caramel set in the fridge overnight and I just did the chocolate the following morning. So moving on to Friday, new releases went live. So I marked that with a little planner from the kit and it was qualifying this day for the Grand Prix, which was in Bahrain. I don't know if this was the first one back. I think it might have been. So I marked that with a little like... F1 car doodle, these are so cute. Um, then I had to finish the Marina shortbread and it was just like unnecessarily dramatic. So obviously like you melt chocolate to go on the top. My milk chocolate melted fine, my dark chocolate melted fine, my melt my my white chocolate just like congealed and became like almost like a paste. Um, and I, I think it's called seizing and I googled it and like people were like you can add water to make it like unseize and I was like that seems like a lot of 
knowledge for me. <laughs> so um, I tried twice with the white chocolate that I had and then I like was just like I need to just go and get different chocolates. So went to the corner shop and just bought like a bar of Milky Bar and there was a lady in there who was like checking out before me and she and like, she could see that I was like looking on like through the aisles to try and find what I was looking for and she like asked me and like helped me and she was really nice and I was telling her about my like drama with the baking and she was just really sweet so that was nice of her. So I came back, finished baking and like really annoyingly I didn't think about the fact that like my other chocolate was just like getting like was like setting as I was doing the white chocolate stuff so by the time I poured it onto the Moina shortbread the other chocolate had kind of it was still a little bit runny but like really not when once it hit the cold caramel like it definitely should have been more runny so I don't know it was just a bit like it wasn't my finest bake <laughs> we'll just say that um so I then finished packing orders then in the evening we went to my parents and had like a board game like pizza night um, and on the way there, I went to Sainsbury's and picked up my mum's card because I am last minute. <laughs> and um, yeah, weirdly, when we like got to the checkout at Sainsbury's, the card was like mispriced. And I'm not normally that guy, but like I really just like wanted them to fix it for like other people. So I like got the lady over and I was like, it's scanning at this price, but it says it should be this price. And I felt like, you know, like making a mountain out of a molehill, but I don't know, I feel like if it was my shop, I would want someone to know. I don't know if a big corporation really feels like that. So on to Saturday, this was my mum's birthday and Tom's grandma's birthday, who we call Rara. So that's what I've written. Happy birthday, mum, happy birthday, Rara. And I put HBD, which I just thought was like a, I, I know it's like an abbreviation that like the Gen Zers use, but I think maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I thought it looked cute <laughs> to like make it fit the box anyway, but I just liked it. Um, and then I marked that I did some laundry, so I just used a little pillow from the kit to mark that. And I had a big cleaning day this day, so because like Sophie was coming the next week to film, I was like, right, like I don't know where in the house she'll want to film. Like we, most of it to be, I think all of it was actually in my office, but I was like, I need to clean the entire house. I don't know what's going. On. I don't know, just can't risk it. <laughs> so I did that. It wasn't too bad actually, like I was reasonably productive. Um, and I also decluttered the bathroom, which was just on a whim, but I try and declutter fairly often, but uh, I don't know, like things just like build up again, don't they? Like it's really hard to actually stay on top of it. So I did that. And then we watched the Formula One. So um, I didn't mark anything about who won, so probably was just Max, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, and Tom had bought me an Easter egg. He went to the shop earlier in the day and came back with an Easter egg. And so we were like a full month away from Easter at this point, I think. So I love an Easter egg. Um, so I ate that while I watched the Formula One. And I remember doing, um, I designed doodles, I think at this time, but for some reason they didn't make it into my planner. <laughs> and in the evening we went to Tom's mum and dad's house and she found, well, she thought it was his old Nintendo DS but we actually think it's his sister's, but we have it now anyway. <laughs> so um, we had like a couple of games on it and we had Nintendogs. I've never played Nintendogs, so I never had a DS. I had a Game Boy Advance and a PlayStation, but like, to be honest, like I was never really a big like gamer as a child. Um, and like, anything I did play was on PC. So I, don't, I wasn't like a console person, especially not Nintendo. So it's very fun for me to like experience a DS. So on Sunday, we went to the co-op and we got just like ingredients to make a full English. I think we already had like sausages and eggs or something. So I was like, let's just do the rest. So that was fun. We made like a little fry up at home. Um, I then finished tidying because I like did most of it on Saturday, but there was like a few bits and bobs that I had to finish up. I cleaned the rabbits out. So I marked that with a Coffee Monsters Co. bunny. I'm running out of these. I really need to get some more have some cute little like cage stickers or like hutch stickers from Fox and Cactus. I'm well overdue a Fox and Cactus order as well because she has these really cute like pack order uh, girls and I used to use them all the time and I've not had them in so long. So I really need to, I think I'm gonna do that after this. Like I desperately need them. So I'm gonna get those. <laughs> then um, I cleaned out the vacuum, which I'm not too bad at doing like maintenance on my vacuums, but I have never cleaned this one. So this was a hand-me-down vacuum that my mum gave me. It's 
it's a Dyson, like an upright corded Dyson. It's about, must be like 15 years old, but it is, it's the best Hoover. It, it, I think the suction on Hoovers like back then, you, I don't think they make them the way that they are now. So like, it's so much better, but I ended up finding a filter that I didn't even know existed. So I've never cleaned it. <laughs> um, I then put washing away and I just marked that I made a Nintendog and then he wouldn't learn his name. I got stuck at the part where it's like, call your dog's name and he just wouldn't do it. So <laughs> I got annoyed and stopped playing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that is my finished spread as a little wiggle for you to show up the hollow foil. It's so cute. I love the pairing. I mean, like the foil pack was designed with this kit in mind. So I'm so glad that it looks like good <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the plan with me and i'll see you in my next video bye